I thank uh, the chairman. I rise to offer my amendment number 42 uh, to this uh, National Defense Authorization Act. Uh, Mr. Chairman, what brings me to the floor is something that I think should concern every single member of the House. We all know that our number one obligation as members of Congress is to secure our country. And as a member of the House Intelligence Committee, it matters not, Republican or Democrat, we stand shoulder to shoulder, we may debate different things. We all know, and the full House knows, that this is our first and top obligation. In order to carry that obligation out, that duty done well as a member of the House Intelligence Committee, we must do effective oversight. We have to do investigations. It is the way we do our work. And the reason I offer this amendment is because unlike all the rest of the committees of the House who can use the GAO, dispatch the General Accounting Office into the executive branch to make the kinds of determinations on financial issues, financial management, personnel, acquisitions, information technology, whatever it might be, the House Intelligence Committee is not allowed to do that. And in attempting to do it, it has drawn the ire of the administration. Now, I'm a Democrat. We have a Democratic administration. I think the uh, administration is ill-advised in this. These are the prerogatives of the Congress and the jurisdictions of our committees. And I think that we need to be able to have the tools that the GAO has with all of the safeguards in place relative to sources and methods and those things that are the most sensitive in the intelligence community. But I don't believe that the executive branch should be telling the legislative branch what tools we should have and to make that decision for us. That speaks to the separation of powers, and it also speaks to what we, as members of Congress, in terms of our duty, and have to carry out to do. And so my amendment uh, really corrects this flaw. And I think it's an important provision that would restore the GAO's role in congressional oversight. I don't think this is a question of whether the information is too sensitive for the GAO. They have the security clearances, they've dealt with things before, and nothing has ever happened. So as I said, I believe this issue goes directly to the heart of one of the most important functions of the Congress, and that is effective oversight. And that's what this amendment is about. I want to thank, in particular, Chairman Howard Berman for his work on this issue from the House Foreign Affairs Committee and to also my colleagues from the House Intelligence Committee who are sponsoring this amendment. Uh, Congressman Holt, Congressman Tierney of Massachusetts, Congressman Thompson of California, and Congresswoman Schakowsky of Illinois.